going to take a look at um, brute force algorithms um, and using um, Java to solve them. Um, so imagine if we've got um, a, a five fruits. Uh, so I just create a, an array of fruits. Uh, so we'll have um, apple, orange, banana, oops, banana, banana, uh, melon, and a pear. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out which two fruits we should put in our knapsack. I think this is quite a well-known problem. <clears throat> which two fruits we can put in our knapsack to make the most profit if we go and sell them at the uh, market or whatever. So you can only fit two fruits and it has to, has to be two different fruits. And the limitation is it can't be more than um, the capacity of the knapsack. So let's, uh, so we've got names and we're going to have another array of weights. Uh, and let's have um, two, three, one, four, one. So we've got, whoops. Uh, so that, that's the weights. And then we'll have um, the profits of doom. Uh, the, this is the profit you make on each fruit. Four, five, three, seven, seven, three. So you've got to find out which um, which two fruits you can put in your knapsack <clears throat> to make the most profit, but the weight mustn't be more than five, five kilograms or whatever. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you could probably work this out by hand, but um, when you increase, start to increase the number of elements, it, it becomes um, impossible. So you need to crunch the numbers through one of this one of these brute force algorithm solutions. Um, so um, let's start off really simple, and let's um, let's just iterate our way through all the names. Seems like a good place to start. So we we'll say in a from zero subscript zero. Um, less than five elements, a plus plus, <clears throat> let's just print out nice and simple. Let's just print out names. Neaten it up and off we go. I'll run that. <coughs> I always find it useful to keep keep running your code, make sure it's doing what you think it should be doing. There we go. So we've listed out Hello World, Apple, Orange, Banana, Melon, Pear. We've listed out all the elements. Now let's um, iterate inside that loop. And we'll have another index, we'll call it B. But we'll start B off um, at one plus a plus one, so we don't cover elements that we've already looked at. Um, B is less than five, again, B plus plus. Uh, and uh, let's just take that statement there and we'll put it here. And we'll print out the combos. So we should get all the, all the combos. So let's do, uh, tab character uh, and names B. So names A, names B. Let's just verify that that's given us all the valid combinations that we're interested in. 
and run that again. So there we go. We've got apple, orange, apple, banana, apple, melon, apple, pear, orange, banana, orange, melon, orange, pear, banana, melon, banana, pear, melon, pear. So I think you could you can see that that's that's correct. That's exactly what we're looking for now. Let's print out the profit. Uh, in fact, let's calculate the profit. So we'll have um, integer. Um, well, yeah. No, let's just do, let's just do the profit. So the profit equals profit a plus oops profit a plus profit b and we can do the same for the weight that should be plural profits profits and we'll say weight equals weights and weights and let's print those out as well so we'll do um, stick a tab character in and we'll have the weight and a tab character oops character profit so visually this should give us quite a nice um, nice overall view won't give us a solution but it gives a nice tabulated um, view of all the combinations and all the profits and all the weights there you go so we've got um, all the combinations let's just check the first first two or three so Apple and orange, five and nine. So that's five and nine. Apple and banana, two and one is three. Profits, four and three is seven. Yeah, so it looks, it's doing exactly what we think it should be doing. So now, all we have to do is pick out the best profit. So let's start off with the best profit of zero. And what we'll do is, after we've printed out, I'll say if um, profit is greater than best profit and the weight is less than or equal to five, which is our criteria, so the weight mustn't exceed the knapsack's capacity, which is five. Then uh, best profit equals profit. It doesn't matter if that gets set more than once, we'll come out with the best profit. Uh, so let's just take a look at that. So I think that should work. That should give us, oh, we need to output that as well. So at the end, we'll say set best profit equals best profit oops profit okay so there's all the code and let's uh, let it do its stuff so the best profit is 10 and that corresponds to uh, banana and melon, melon and pear. They've got the maximum weight there, the maximum profit, 10. Orange and melon doesn't work because it's too heavy. Apple and melon doesn't work because it's too heavy. So yeah, banana and a melon, melon and a pear, something to remember. <laughs> okay, so that's brute force algorithms in Java.